In this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the keyframe system which is a very powerful animation tool used in animation studios. First we'll open our keyframe dialog and next we'll open the camera position dialog. From this dialog we'll be able to adjust the camera to a minute position. Now bringing up our main control dialog we shall first load in our X-Wing model. Let's just bring it into view, uh, toggling the Z axis slider, and now load in our texture. And there we can see our X Wing has been textured. Let's just move it around to give us uh, a good view of it. Right, we reposition our dialogues for optimum viewing, place the X Wing on its Z axis right the way back, position the camera to where we want our first frame to start. Now selecting the keyframe dialog, we'll add the first keyframe. Now we shall move our X-Wing on its Z-axis all the way forward to its next position. Now we shall then push the slider on the keyframe up to 100 frames. And once we've done that, we shall then press the Add key. We've now created our first sequence. And we play it back and it should follow through. Right, next we want to um, position our X-Wing a bit more forward and select the rotation and change its rotation plane. There we go. Now we shall bring it forward a little bit more and also we shall move our camera to its next position. Let's bring it forward there. Right, now selecting the keyframe dialog again, bring the slider to the next 100 frames and then once we've done that we shall select the add key again. We've now created two keyframes. Pressing play we'll play them back and we shall see once we've moved the dialogs out of the way that the keyframe slider will go through 200 frames until it reaches its final point.